Hello, thank you so much for coming back to join me for this week's Skincare Saturday. So I wanted to share with you a unique product that um, I've really been enjoying. This is the Olay Exfoliating Face and Body Powder. So if you'd like to hear more about this, my experience um, with using it for about a month and a half, then please keep on watching. Like it says, I do upload a daily video all about budget beauty. So make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. You can even bookmark the page. Um, you can also become a member of this channel by hitting the join button down below. It's $4.99 a month. You get videos two days early. And when I get a few more members, I'll be doing member only live streams. So if you don't want to do that, that's cool. Still daily uploads. Okay, I know we just got done with June's big skincare Saturday thing, but um, this is something I've been using for a little while and I really, really like it. This is, like I said, the Olay Exfoliating Face and Body Powder. This is the cranberry seed one and it's literally a powder. It's a powder. But, so what this is supposed to do is it's supposed to leave skin smooth and glowing. It gently exfoliates to remove dry surface cells and reveal skin's natural glow. Um, it instantly activates with water into a micro scrubbing lather that exfoliates and purifies skin. Um, I went ahead and used this in the bathtub last night. So let me go ahead and insert that little clip right here. It's a really unique product. Um, I know I have something similar from Revolution Skincare. I love that stuff too. This is a lot more gentle than the Revolution Skincare. Um, as you saw in the little clip, it when you when it gets wet, it will start lathering. Um, there is a few pieces of exfoliation, but it doesn't. It's not like rough. It's not aggressive. It's not like using a St. Ives apricot scrub, nothing like that. Um, this is a unique product. It does have something called Pitaya, P-I-T-A-Y-A. -A. Don't know what that is, but it's a nice product. I really, really enjoy this. Has a nice gentle scent, smells kind of like cranberry. Um, and I really, really like this. So it really is just a legit powder. I've only used it by itself, but I have a feeling that you could probably add this to another like face wash if you wanted. Um, I've used this on my elbows. For body, I don't feel like it has enough exfoliating particles in it for me personally. I like a pretty aggressive body scrub, whether it's my netted little washcloth or um, when I used to use like the little netted loofah things, I like something a little bit more aggressive, a sea salt scrub, stuff like that. This is pretty gentle. Um, I think if you have very sensitive skin, I think that this would be great for you. Um, it's it's a nice product. Um, if you, like I said, if you have sensitive skin like on your body, I, I think this would be the perfect amount of exfoliation for you. Um, and you get 4.23 ounces. You don't need very much. You just need a very, very small amount and it just turns into that lather. Um, Face-wise, I think if you are extremely sensitive, I would probably just avoid this. Um, exfoliating for people that have like super dry or sensitive skin can be a little bit of an issue. So I think if you have normal combo oily, slightly sensitive, slightly dry, I think you'd be okay. But if you are extremely sensitive, extremely dry, I would personally skip out on this. It's a cool product though. It's very innovative. Um, when I feel like I need more of an aggressive, deeper scrub, I'll use my Revolution one. But when I just feel like, oh, need a little bit of something getting flaky around my nose, or I've got like a, a dry bit of flakiness from a healed zit, I'll grab this. It's a cool product. I definitely think it's something that a lot of people could get a lot of use out of, and I like it. I think it's a nice product. Um, like I said, smells really good. I trust Olay. Um, I, you know, I still think of it as oil of Olay, but that's how old I am. But yeah, I think if you're looking for a new scrub, whether it's for your face and or body, I think that this is going to be a good option for you. Um, 
I know that this is on Amazon, so I'll go ahead and link it down below. Um, it will be an affiliate link. You're welcome to use it. You definitely don't have to, um, but it's there if you want to. I've noticed a lot of people saying, oh, mine was only partially full. Mine didn't have a safety seal. Neither did mine. Um, mine was like about right there. So I've used a little bit. Like I said, you don't need much, but it doesn't come all the way full. I'm assuming when it ships and stuff, it needs room to move around and stuff like that. But kind of like a bag of potato chips, it's not going to be all the way full, if that makes sense. So definitely like this, definitely recommend it. I think it's really good for summer um, where it's a gentle exfoliation. It's going to help get rid of those dry bits, but it's not over exfoliating. Um, I've never hurt myself. I've never like had any kind of irritation when I've used this. I like it a lot, definitely recommend it. So I just wanted to come and chat about it for a minute. And uh, I haven't seen anyone talk about this, but it's a really good product. But anyway, there we go. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and share it. Let me know down below in the comments if you've tried the Olay Exfoliating Face and Body Powder. What did you think of it? I'd love to know down below. And of course, you are welcome to follow me on my social media. I have Facebook and Instagram, and it is at Budget Glam Babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start on the plane here very shortly. Or you can always click on one of the ones that will be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.